This is a Roblox plane disaster game. And this is the inside of that exact same plane. As you can see, we are crashing towards a neighborhood here. And while it may look a little bit goofy and also kind of laggy, you may find this hard to believe, but this plane crash actually did happen in real life. Yeah, it occurred in November 12th of 2021. You'll notice that the plane is all right at the moment, but then it just starts shaking here. And let's see, yeah, the tail's gonna fall off. And then it does land in the neighborhood there. And if you're wondering if any of the people on the ground were hit by the crash, uh, yes, in total there was 5 ground fatalities, and out of the 260 occupants in that plane, there were 0 survivors. Yep, yeah, that was the American Airlines Flight 587, and it crashed in a neighborhood in New York City shortly after takeoff, and the reason for its crash was due to pilot error leading to loss of control. Yep, yeah, the first officer's overuse of rotor controls in response to weight turbulence from the previous airplane that took off minutes before it, it messed with the vertical stabilizer, and that's why the tail snapped and then as it was falling the force was so great that the two engines separated from the aircraft before its impact yeah this is an image of the tail that fell down they were able to recover it and this was just number eight on the list of most devastating plane accidents found on roblox as we progress through this list we're going to get to the most destructive plane accident of all time but even this next one is insane because the reason for its crash was actually missiles firing at it and what's crazy is that yes you could actually find all this on roblox so this is the game right here and Oh, looks like we already missed it. Let me click on regen. So it's going to fall down from over here. And then, yeah, as soon as it hits the water, it, the whole plane just gets destroyed. Yeah, I don't think this Roblox game actually shows the missile attacking the plane. But on the game description, it says, Cause, shot down by Soviet air defense due to navigation error. And yes, I am talking about the Korean Air Flight 007. So this plane had 269 occupants on board. It was going from New York City to Seoul. And as you can see here, that's a Soviet Air Force plane. And seeing the plane as an enemy and a threat, it actually shoots a missile at the plane. Yeah, I believe it's going to happen right here. Yet yeah, so instantly the plane starts going down until it eventually hits the water. And so what exactly makes this an accident? Well, this occurred in September 1st of 1983, and as the plane was going to its normal route, there was a navigational mistake made by the crew, and the airline drifted from its planned route and flew through Soviet-prohibited airspace. The Soviet Air Forces treated the unidentified aircraft as an intruding US spy plane and destroyed it with air-to-air -air missiles. After firing warning shots, the Korean airline eventually crashed into the sea killing all 269 passengers and crew on board. And what's crazy is that at the time, the Soviet Union initially denied knowledge of the incident, but later admitted to shooting down the aircraft, claiming that it was a spy mission. Yeah, like they didn't admit to this mistake until 1992, nine years after the plane fell down. But it's still not as devastating as this next Roblox plane crash. So as you can see to our right, there's a couple of buildings here, as well as a plane falling sideways. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very big fire. Yeah, and according to this board right here, when the plane hit the ground, the debris from the plane collided into an aircraft hangar. All 258 souls on board died, including two on the ground. And that's not the only Roblox game made about this plane incident. There's also this next one here, which which as well is pretty accurate to the actual crash. And this occurred shortly after its takeoff. The year was 1979, when I believe it was the engine that flew off. Okay, yeah, there it is. And it looks like the wing is also damaged, so it starts going lopsided until it initially crashes. And so what exactly happened? Why did this plane end up crashing? Well, as you saw the engine fall, that was mainly due to the damage of the pylon structure holding the engine to the wing, which was caused by improper maintenance procedures at American Airlines. And the incident occurred in Chicago when the 273 people died from the crash, making it the deadliest aviation accident to have occurred in the United States. And what's even crazier is that that's still just number six on our list. We still have five more to go, and they're only going to get more and more disastrous. This next one is the Saudi Flight 163. Right now, the plane looks normal. It seems like it's about to take off or something. When all of a sudden, it just catches on fire. And this is probably not the most accurate representation of the actual crash. It seems like the plane was already in the air. When all of a sudden, a fire occurred and just spread throughout the cabin. And so the pilot had to do an emergency landing, which was successful. 
But what makes this so tragic is that they failed to evacuate the plane on time, causing for a total of 301 fatalities with zero survivors, making the accident one of the deadliest aviation disasters in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it says here that once the aircraft had stopped, the crew reported that they were shutting down the engines and about to evacuate, but the engines were still running on the plane, preventing the doors from being able to open until literally 3 minutes and 15 seconds after the plane stopped. But at that point, communication with the crew was already lost. Now, why the captain failed to evacuate the aircraft is kind of left a mystery. And as for how the fire started, it's also a mystery. There is a theory that one of the passengers used a stove to heat water for tea, but there's not enough evidence to prove that. This is definitely one of the more mysterious plane incidents where we just don't know all the answers. But now we move to number four on the list, where we spawned in a Roblox forest when up above, we could see a, a plane just instantly being destroyed. Here, let's go ahead and see that again. Yeah, that's the Turkish Airlines Flight 981. But that's not the only Roblox game based off of this crash. There's actually multiple versions of this game. Like, even this one's more intense. Yeah, as you can see, the entire forest catches on fire. And the crash occurred in 1974. As you can see, the plane's already falling straight downwards. It seems like it tries to stabilize right here. That's why it's able to lift up a bit. But it's still not enough to save itself. And it crashes into the forest. And in total of that plane incident, there was 346 fatalities, zero survivors. And now the cause of the incident was due to an incorrectly secured cargo door at the rear of the plane, which burst open and broke off, causing an explosive decompression that severed critical cables necessary to control the aircraft. Yet, so when the door blew off, the plane lost its control, and the pilots were able to stabilize the plane a bit, but by then it was too close to the ground and it crashed, making it the deadliest single aircraft accident without survivors. But now this next Next plane crash is, in my opinion, the more terrifying incidents. Yeah, it's a it's a mid-air collision. Oh geez, and we're in first person. Okay, yeah, so we're inside the plane currently, and yeah, it crashes into another plane. Jeez, what is this audio? I don't like this, I don't like this. Okay, these sounds are too real. I don't like this at all. Are we good? Yeah, to get a better view of what exactly happened, uh, it was something similar to the likes of this. And it was the 1996 Charki Dadri mid-air collision. So this is the first airplane right here. Right now it's currently taking off. It's honestly a really cool model. But as it's flying, it appears to be really foggy when suddenly, yeah, the planes end up hitting each other. Causing both of them to fall down. Oh, does it fall into a neighborhood? Where, where does it... Okay, no, it appears to be a field. And so occurring on the 12th of November, 1996, one plane had 312 occupants, the other plane had 37. In total, there was 349 fatalities, zero survivors. And so what happened is that the Kazakh crew, yeah, that's the plane with the four engines, failed to maintain the correct altitude, and this was mostly due to the poor English language skills, resulting in inadequate interpretations of directions provided by air traffic control. Honestly, very unfortunate, and seems like there's just nothing wrong with the planes themselves. But now, now we're at number two on the list of tragic plane incidents. And this is the Japan Airlines Flight 123. So it looks like we're overseeing a mountain here. We see the plane and and I believe it strikes some trees right there causing the crash. Here, let's go ahead and see it again. Yeah, so the plane is flying dangerously close to the ground until it eventually hits some trees and then just fully explodes. And so this occurred in the year 1985 and in total there was 524 occupants. So, so far so good, but then suddenly the tail just explodes, causing the whole plane to lose stabilization. It looks like they're preparing for emergency landing. Oh no, does it fly upside down? And so yeah, the plane ends up falling sideways until it initially hits some trees and then fully comes crashing down. And out of those 524 occupants in the plane, there was actually four survivors. And so the reason for the incident was due to structural failure caused by the faculty repair by Boeing technicians following a tail strike incident seven years earlier. This faulty repair and ended up rapidly decompressing the tail, which then messed up the hydraulics of the plane, disabling the aircraft's flight controls. What's also unfortunate is that when the plane initially crashed, there was an estimate of 20 to 50 passengers that had actually survived, but then unfortunately passed due to 
to serious injuries a few hours later while awaiting rescue. And this plane incident remains the deadliest single aircraft accident in aviation history. But now the Roblox game that's based off of the deadliest accident in aviation history is this one here. Oh geez, am I inside the plane again? I don't like this, okay. So I believe there's two planes involved in this accident. Uh, there was one that was in the ground, about to take off, and it crashes into this other plane here. And there's multiple Roblox game based off of this incident. There's this one here, which is a lot more chaotic. And what we're looking at here is the Tenerife Airport disaster. And last time, a lot of people made fun of how I pronounced the word. So I googled it and it literally says here, Tenerife. Scammers get scammed. But the British do pronounce it like this. Tenerife. So yeah, this is the crash animation for it. So the plane's about to descend and it looks like it is foggy. So that may have been a part of the crash. And it looks like it fell to rise up, taking damage on the tail causing just total destruction on the second plane, leading to a total of 583 fatalities with 61 survivors. Yet one of the aircrafts had 248 occupants, and then the second airplane had 396 occupants with 61 survivors. Yet the one with those survivors, that was a plane that was not moving at all. And so yeah, there was mention of dense fog during the time of the incident. The airport had become congested with parked airplanes blocking the only taxiway, and due to the fog, visibility was greatly reduced for pilots and the control tower. And so the primary cause of the accident was due to the KLM's captain's decision to take off in the mistaken belief that he got clearance from air traffic control. Yeah, and it seems like the Pan Am plane did actually attempt to steer off the runway trying to head into the grass, but unfortunately it was too late by that point. Yeah, the captain applied full power to the throttles and made a sharp left turn towards the grass in an attempt to avoid the impending collision. And then when the KLM crashed into the plane, the right side engine crashed on the upper deck, killing all of the passengers seated there. Honestly, very terrifying. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.